while we have you tomorrow at 3 p.m., we're going to learn the president's decision, as you just heard us discussing on the Paris Environmental Accord. Uh, your congressional district is a fascinating place. It's like a model UN. Uh, people from all over the world. Um, what do you say for your constituents in New York, let's say? Um, how will what happens in the Rose Garden tomorrow? affect all the people in your congressional district in a real way? Well, this is a district that was uh, impacted adversely by Superstorm Sandy, which was a shocking storm that occurred in October of 2012. And clearly, uh, for the overwhelming majority of my constituents, is a result of the climate change, the global warming, uh, the sea rise that we've seen across uh, the world in recent times, in part because of man-made activity. And the Paris agreements were an attempt by the civilized world to come together and do something about it. It appears tomorrow, if Donald Trump is in fact going to pull out the agreement, that he's willing to side with Steve Bannon as opposed to the civilized world and join the limited company of Syria and Nicaragua. That would be unfortunate. We should put clean air and clean water ahead of a campaign promise that Donald Trump recklessly made.